There are alarming indicators currently suggesting an impending housing market crash. Leading the parade of concerning data, home builders across the nation have reported a huge collapse in buyer traffic at construction sites. In fact, filling the houses that are already under construction has become an impossible task. With more than 440,000 newly constructed homes available for sale nationwide, the implications of the current surplus of housing inventory are expected to be significant. Rising mortgage rates are making homes increasingly unaffordable for many prospective buyers. Equally bad for constructors, there have been reports of a surge in canceled contracts for homes over the past few months, making the situation even more significant. Now let's look at the, the bigger picture. The U.S. housing market is struggling with the enigma of staggering vacancies. There are an estimated 5.5 million vacant housing units in the nation's 50 largest metro areas. A 25% of these homes are empty and available for rent, while 16% are being used only part-time as vacation or second homes. New Orleans tops the list with a 17% vacancy rate, along with cities like Richmond, Austin, and Miami. What's really driving up these vacancy rates in these cities is stuff like shifts in housing demand, economic conditions, and property management costs. But the most alarming development here is the strategy of mortgage rate buy-downs, which could potentially trigger a wave of mortgage defaults in the housing market. Home builders like DR Horton are leveraging discounted mortgage rates advertised aggressively in the range of 5.5 and 6% to bait prospective homeowners. But homeowners who have bought with these mortgage rate buy-downs are likely to struggle to keep up with rising mortgage payments. In essence, this trend is just treading water but it's hardly a sustainable solution and might trigger an avalanche of mortgage defaults down the line. No doubt the housing market sentiment is changing. What was recently considered a recovering market is spiraling downwards as homebuyer demand dropped to its lowest in 25 years. Applications for mortgages have decreased by a half from their 2021 pandemic peak. And with the average American house payments inching towards $3,000 per month, housing affordability is increasingly becoming elusive. Ironically, Despite low buyer demand, house prices continue to skyrocket. Reluctant existing owners are adding pressure by not listing their houses for sale, resulting in unsustainably low inventory. This array of data provides compelling evidence pointing towards an imminent housing crash. The combination of high prices, low demand, and high vacancies, along with the anticipated hikes in federal interest rates, paints a terrible picture for the U.S. housing market. Panic selling measures by builders, stagnated inventory, and a potential flood of foreclosures indicate a market on the verge of an alarming downturn. It remains to be seen just how significant an impact this impending crash will have on the U.S. economy. Subscribe if you find this short video helpful, and thank you for watching.